you know, you can go into the, to the game with a game plan, but the, the game dictates who you play and how you play. Um, I thought we did some good things, you know, in game one, like I said before, um, after the game. And uh, game two would be different. We got to make a couple of adjustments and do a few things better. But um, overall, if we, you know, you have a chance to hold Steph and Clay to 20 points, you know, combined, you know, in a game like this. And, you know, out rebounding this team. Also, you know, getting to the free throw line double the times they got to the free throw line. Um, those are some good things that we did. So we just got to build off of that. Uh, Sean comes in and has a great lift, and as well as Barbosa, I don't think he missed a shot. And as well as Iggy coming in and in that second unit, um, you know, kind of propelling them to to allow Steph and Clay not to dominate the game like they normally do. So um, we just we see it as as a, an opportunity that um, we kind of should have relished a little bit more, especially um, you know them not particularly shooting well and it probably won't happen again but it is the finals anything can happen and um, we just got to be just got to be better coming out in, in that second quarter as well as in um, finishing the third and coming into the fourth where you know we're a six point game turns into 10 or 12 so you're nine and oh in game two after losing game one in the postseason that's that's pretty high number um i don't know uh, you know my team has always been able to uh you know, recalibrate, look at the mistakes that we had in game one, I guess, and uh, and come up to get a, a better game plan in game two and be able to execute it. Um, so, you know, I've been a, bit, uh, a part of some resilient teams that's uh, bounced back from a, from a game one loss either, you know, at home or on the road.